Hey guys, I'm gonna get straight into this and show you guys how I make jollof rice and suya with the ingredients I've got at home. First thing we're gonna need are bell peppers, scotch bonnets, three of those if you're up for it, chopped tomatoes and one onion. First thing we're gonna do is pretty much just blend everything. I can only fit a certain amount in one go so I'm gonna blend this batch and then I'm gonna throw in a bit more in the next one. And then I'm going to blend the next batch. I'm going to pour half of it in. And then with the next half, I, to be honest, I don't really know why I did this, but in the next half, I'm going to add in some all-purpose seasoning with some garlic powder. And then blend that. And because in this economy, we can't waste anything. I'm going to add some water, stir that a bit, and add the rest in. We wash our rice. And then I'm gonna let this soak in some hot water for about 10 minutes. So once I've let the rice soak, I'm gonna drain all the water, put some coconut oil in a pan, and then add in the rice. I find that this whole process just stops the rice from being super mushy when it comes to adding in the tomato stew. I'm gonna do this for about 10 minutes just to make sure that the rice is kind of soft in the outside but still a bit hard because I'm still cooking the rice in the tomato stew. I'm adding in the tomato stew with some oil and then I'm gonna cook it down with some veg stock on a high heat. Then I'm gonna add in some chili powder and then once that's been cooked down, then I'm gonna add the rice. So what I actually should have done is I should have added the, all of the seasoning in before I add the rice. But with cooking, there's always a way to rectify things. So I'm just going to add this on top and then kind of shift the rice rather than stirring it. Same as to when I add in the tomato puree. I'm just going to kind of shift it across the top rather than kind of stirring the entire pot. Because I don't really want it mushy. I added in a tiny bit more water and then I turned the heat down to one because really it's the steam that's really cooking the rice from this point forward. And there we have the jollof rice guys. Great texture, so, so simple and quick to make. And now for the suya. So here I'm using something called kuli kuli, which essentially is just peanuts with the oil removed from it. This is important because when I'm making the spice, I want it super, super dry. And if I'm using normal peanuts, there's a bit too much oil in there. If I didn't have this, I probably would just use peanuts anyway and roast in the oven. I have some oyster mushrooms and close cut mushrooms as my meat substitutes. After grinding the kuli kuli or peanuts, I'm gonna add in some cayenne pepper, some paprika, and some garlic powder. I'm then gonna put some olive oil into a pan with the mushrooms. Add some sea salt and add in some onions. Once that's completely cooked, I'm going to add that into a bowl and then add in the spices. I also added um, that green chilli powder in the background is another spice I added just because it wasn't really hot enough for me and I just wanted a bit more of a kick. So here I'm using what I have at home, which is tomatoes and onions. So that's what I'm using to build my suya sticks. So after I've done making them, I'm gonna put them on the grill for about 10 to 15 minutes on 200 degrees centigrade and they will come out looking like this. And there you have it ladies and gentlemen, jollof rice and soya. And now I'm just gonna build it up with some cabbage and red onions, some tomatoes, some soya and some more soya. 
then later on I'll sprinkle some of the spices on top. And obviously, as I'm sure you know, we cannot forget the plantain. Thank you guys for watching this video. Um, I hope you enjoy it. If so, leave a comment down below. You know how it goes. See you guys soon.